Hey guys, it's Drew again. I wanted to do a video response for John P. Collects Cards. And John, has, uh, he's hit 500 subscribers, which is uh, fantastic. And congratulations, John. And what he wanted us to do was he told a story about how he was one digit off, I think, from winning uh, the big prize with a, a, a scratch off ticket or something. And, uh, and so he got to dreaming. And, you know, it's something we all do as people and definitely as card collectors, that whole what if, what if I had, you know, a big card? What if I got the big pull? What if I did this or that or whatever? And, uh, and I thought it was an interesting thing. So what he wanted us to do was he said, let's just say after taxes, after you paid your bills, after everything was done, plop, $10,000 land in your lap. And you're like, get yourself something nice for your collection. How would you spend that $10,000? And uh, I, it's something we kind of all do. And, and I'm sure that tomorrow my answer might be different than what I'm going to say today. But, um, but if I had $10,000, what I would do. So um, he said, you know, pick, you know, between one and three items or cards or whatever. And he said, it's not quite enough for 52 Mantle, uh, you know, and, or a Babe Ruth or, you know, a certain thing. And I thought, he's got a point, you know, but what would I really love to have? Not that iconic card, but just what card have I always like, when I see it, a picture of it, or see it at a show, you're like itching, oh man, it's a beautiful card. Uh, or when someone shows it off. And, uh, and I thought three cards, you know what, I think this is gonna be easy for me. So the first card, as you guys may know, uh, I, I kinda do Griffey. You know, he was my guy. Back in the 90s, he was my guy. I love Griffey, and I've got a ton of great Griffey, Griffey stuff. I have great cards. I don't have a high dollar Griffey collection, but I have stuff that's meaningful to me. But I remember back in the 90s, uh, there was a certain card that was produced to Griffey, and it became like the iconic card, and it still kind of is. And uh, and I'm going to show a picture of it, but uh, but if, if part of this $10,000, I don't care what grade it's in because I'm not a graded guy, just to have a copy. So even if a corner is chewed off, I'd be okay with it. But to get the upper deck card that is co-signed by both Mickey Mantle and Ken Griffey Jr., that would be one of the cards. So wherever that budget lands that would be the first one because it would just be amazing. And I've got, um, I have a Mantle autograph. I have a number of Griffey autographs, but that card, there was something about that card that was just incredible to think that they, they had the foresight before Mickey Mantle passed away to say, hey, let's get these two guys together. And the fact that, you know, Griffey continued his career, his career could have gone in any direction after that point. He was still fairly young. I think it was in, what, 94? So he was only five years into his career. Um, but he ended up being, you know, 630 home runs and, and 99.3 on the ballot, you know, and all this other stuff. And he is the kid. He was Ken Griffey Jr. He was Mr. 90s when it came to baseball cards. And uh, the fact that they put him together, so that's number one. So once you take out whatever that costs, what I would do is I would want to complete the trifecta of cards that I would love to have. Now, I already have one of them. I don't know if I'll ever have either of the other two, but for whatever the difference in money, I could buy the best copy of, of either of these, and I would want it to kind of match the copy, but definitely what I would do is I would want to pick up the 1949 Leaf, uh, Ted Williams, and the 1949 Leaf, Joe DiMaggio, to match my 1949 Leaf, Stan Musial. I show this card off all the time because I just can't believe I own it. And this is a beautiful copy of it. The color, the registration, the, uh, you know, the, the centering on it is great. And the only reason I can afford it is because the back is jacked up. But you know what? I will take that any day of the week. So if I can get something that matches this for whatever's remaining out of that $10,000 to add to this to make the trifecta of the greatest hitters that played at the same time with Joe DiMaggio, Ted Williams, and Stan Musial, that would be absolutely, absolutely phenomenal for me. So, John, thank you again uh, for just the opportunity to kind of show off this card, to talk about our dreams, to live a little in fantasy. It's always fun to do. So congratulations on your 500. And go check out his channel if you haven't. Do a video response to him. Give him some love. And, uh, and let's keep building this uh, community and hobby together. But until next time, you guys be good.